Okay, hello guys, welcome back. After a long time, actually, for the very few audience that has been watching this. Uh, well, so let us get back into the action of taking over some territory. First, let's look at the world map first to see what we have. Uh, resolution in this thing is amazingly low. Um, I'm gonna change my settings first, so... Okay guys, I'm back. So now our quality is better. And now that our quality is better, let's go and look at some action here. We're gonna take the condo row sprint. And I kind of want to change my crew logo, because I don't think a broken heart would be all of... Yeah, so let me change the logo and let's get back into the action. I'll set a few colors for this. Okay, that should be good enough. Lime green dragons, mwahahahaha. <laughs> whatever. I choose this logo. It's a representation of my crew. And let's go to Condo Row, shall we? Since I haven't played this game in a long time, don't expect me to be really all that too much of high quality. But I will try my best to keep the action for the very few of you because there's a uh, very few of you that's watching um i will um customize it so that oh come on the performance no actually the way i play will be to your preferences So let's do condo row first, all the way down to 21 frames per second in this loading screen. I don't know why it's that low, this is a low system requirement game, so we should be able to get through this. And still there's lag. Now let's not worry about it. Okay, everybody, I know I wasn't really all that act- I'm not really all that active as I was before. It's because, um, it's the morning and, um, I'm just, uh, getting ready right now. And I would like to start off the day with a good Need for Speed Carbon and impress my small audience here. Here are preferences. Just leave a comment down below. And I'll change my gameplay accordingly. Man. And so we're just, uh, I really have nothing to say except that... The Minecraft Podcast? There's one thing that Jude said that absolutely, seriously offended Dutroid. And I heard her complain. And so I agree with that. I absolutely agree with that. It's just that dude is so immature that he's just the uh, swearing like almost every day. So he's got to fix that and learn how to deal with anything that's annoying and just turn it as an advantage point. Let's see, use this blocker here. Yeah, never done that in a long time. Can you guys hear me well? Cause, um... Oh, I'll check it anyway. Anyways, I'll, I'm trying to speak as loud as I can so that you, the audience, can hear.
Aw, oh, come on. Why did I break there? Should not have broke there. Or whatever. Oh, such smooth driving that I have here. Oh, and I was thinking of doing Need for Speed World. Um, so leave down a comment in... Leave a comment down below if you want to see me play Need for Speed World. I have never played that game before, but I've heard it's really good, so I'm going to try it out. I know I'm slow, but... Oh, damn it, I looked straight into that car, but... I haven't played it in a long time, and this is the safest that I can go, so, yeah. Restarting Watermark. Okay, Watermark restarted, and uh, let's take a look at how well we did. And lagginess everywhere. I don't have it, but it's there anyway. So I did pretty well against the competition here. I had a better average speed, so I guess that's pretty good. And let us approach the next race that we have here. Okay. Lagginess, I'm going to have to fix that. I don't know why it's all the way down to 20 frames per second, but it, sh it shouldn't be that way. Urgh. High quality, more cops. Guys, something just happened, and that... Wait a minute, guys, I gotta take care of something. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, like, this, uh, PC I'm using is a Windows 7. So, um, uh, this, uh, compatibility is not really that good with this Windows XP game. Well, anyways. Why is it down to 20 frames per second? This game is a very high p like there's a a lot of headroom for um performance uh, quality and improvements to the game i don't get why the frame rate would be so low for a game that has low system requirements and before it didn't really have that many um, before, um, it performed really well, and now it's like 20 frames. I absolutely do not get that. Maybe it's the compatibility. Maybe it's, um, something that's preventing it from performing as it should. Well, anyways, I'm not complaining, but I'm sometimes getting crashes. Okay, so now we're in the Lofty Heights Downhill Drift. I'm going to do well in this. Drifting is all about cornering. The faster you go, the more points you get. And you got to try to connect your drifts from one corner to the next without push down. The closer you stay to the walls without touching, the better you'll do. But be careful, because if you hit the side, you're done. Let's do this. Occasionally you get perfect launches, but I don't care. Okay. 
one thing about drifting is, um, what people sometimes think is they have to, um, hold down the forward key all the time to be able to do a good drift, but no, you gotta let go of the forward key sometimes to slow down your car so that the car drifts efficiently. Like what I'm doing here is um, I'm partially slowing down and speeding up again so that the car can drift around the corner better and I get more points out of that instead of complete acceleration and fall out of the, like, pretty much go off track. And I'm actually going faster than I usually do on this particular drift and I am proud of that. That is nice. I might even get higher than King Drift. But if I don't, it's okay. I think it's because uh, when I wake up in the morning, it's more relaxing. I don't know. There's something, something about that. Look at, look at those smooth drifts. They're not perfect apex, but still. I never expected that from me. That I could do that sort of thing. But now I'm moving really slow. So... Uh, at least I'm gonna get pretty uh, high movement. Oh, I'm really close to King Drift. No, actually, I'm pretty far. But I'm definitely gonna get Drift Pro. No doubt about it. Let's see. Let's see if we reach Drift King for the first time. Oh, not enough. Not enough, but... That was... I did a really good job there. And once again, we we're seeing t territory being taken over. And now we got two completely owned territories. And I'm partially taking over um, the territory of TFK. Restart watermark.